What is up my game dev gangster and welcome to the continuation of my travel to 100 videos every single day. Probably going to be 200 because you know it's me but just kidding now we have unreal engine it's been a long while since i have created an unreal engine tutorial and i'm going to create a few of unreal engine tutorials so yeah stick around subscribe to see more anyways let me show you the game that we are going to create so over here as you can see in my editor this is our level and we have obstacles basically we need to maneuver here these walls we need to maneuver these obstacles over here maneuver these obstacles over here and the goal is to get till the end where we are going to win the game and of course we also have the enemy as additional pressure for us because the enemy is going to start chasing us if i hit the play button you will notice after a few seconds the enemy is going to start to run towards us there you go when it gets to us game over and we're dead so i will need to hit play again and now i am going to try and run and you know defeat the enemy but i don't think that is going to be possible i need to avoid these because they are going to slow me down if they hit me they're going to slow me down because the enemy is probably chasing me there he is i saw him so moving here maneuvering these also these fireballs if they touch you they they will kill you so make sure that you avoid the fireballs as well let's try to do that hopefully can i reach this where is the enemy oh he, there he is okay <laughs> it's like i'm playing the scariest game ever but this is the basic game you know there he is i saw his reflection come on come on let's try can i make it can i make it ah, because even if we go here there you go i won okay <laughs> anyways that was our game as you can see it's a simple one it's a recap to unreal engine because i didn't do a tutorial for a very long time as i said a recap a new game it's a semi beginner semi intermediate game so it's not completely a beginner game i expect you to know a few things but i will also explain along the way anyways i'm just going to shut up shut up teacher because you, you want to you know learn the game so uh yeah fire here from awesomedudes.com hit the like subscribe to see more of these videos because more are coming and uh, enjoy in the course okay my game dev gangster now that we saw the game that we are going to create let us create a game so over here i have the unreal engine project browser blah 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 you know the good stuff so click here for the games we're not going to create any for tim for tim for film television and whatnot you're not a director so don't try to be one i'm going to click here next and we're going to select a blank project now from the blank project we're going to click next over here and over here we're going to select these settings so blueprints maximum quality ray tracing disabled over here make sure that you have this this is really important so make sure with starter content so make sure that you have that do not create a project without it okay and over here as you can see the name of my project is unreal platform I'm simply going to click here create the project and we are going to pray so that the unreal engine will take mercy upon us and look at this over here my vr is turning on whatever so i'm going to turn that off and uh, probably come back when the project loads and finally here we are unreal engine took mercy upon us and after a gazillion years we are here just kidding but anyways this is the default project that you see you will probably know that as as i explained in the beginning if i didn't mention in my because i can forget if i didn't mention in my head talking video that well you need to know the basics basics of unreal engine well there you go so now what we're going to do over here is in the content as you can see this is my content browser at the bottom left corner so over here i have the starter content which is what we applied to have now inside or inside the content i'm going to right click and create a new folder i'm going to create levels or maps so simply going to call it maps and at the top left corner over here where it says file i'm going to click on that and from file i'm going to click here new map or new level and over here i'm going to select the default one so again when you click on that i probably click that too quick so new and then i'm not going to select mt or vr or time of the day i'm going to click on this default and this is what we have in the default now in order for us to save this i'm going to hold control and press s on windows it's command s and go into the maps folder and save it then i'm going to call this bad boy gameplay because we are playing a game inside of that level now over here we have this default floor that we don't need because i'm going to delete it and over here we have some you know elements as any level default one that well it has so over here i'm going to right click and create a folder 
that I'm going to call other and I'm going to put all of these over here. And when I say over here, this is in the world outliner. So right there, world outliner. If you don't see it here under window, search for it, world outliner, and then you will see it. Now I'm also going to right click and create a new folder and I'm going to call this folder levels. And for some reason it did not create that folder. Come on, is it going? Okay, it is creating it inside of the other folder for whatever reason. So I'm going to call this one level. So level, there you go. And for this bad boy, I'm simply going to place this over here and this folder, I'm going to delete it. There you go. And this one I'm going to call other. This is just for grouping elements within our level because we are going to have, you know, multiple things in the level and so on and so forth. If you don't want to wait every single day until I publish this whole tutorial series, you can access it right now in my Game Development Academy. Link is down below. You will access this tutorial series and 80 other courses where you can learn game development for Unity, Unreal Engine and so on and so forth. Click the link down below and check it out. And the first thing that we are going to have is going to be the ground. So I am going to right click over here and create the ground, which is going to hold, you know, the ground. And from here where it says place actors, you see this right here, place actors, you have, you know, these tabs, you have the basics, you have the light, cinematic, visual effects, and so on and so forth. I am going to go here under volumes or actually geometry, excuse me. And here we have a box and we can simply drag that box and there you go this is going to be our ground of course it's not going to look like this because we cannot walk you know on a box three by three so instead what I'm going to do is I am going to reposition this box so the x y and z location are all going to be zero so make sure that that is all set to zero and now I'm going to resize it but I'm not going to resize it on the scale because we can do that as well as you can see we can resize it on scale normally and everything will work and by the way you can also resize it by you know clicking on it and then over here you have these keys as you can see for example this one select and scale objects so you can scale it from from here as well like this look at that it looks crazy and all of the good stuff I'm going to revert it back to the default one instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this box brush and over here you have the brush settings you see over here and over there you have the brush shape x y and z and this is what i'm going to use to rescale this ground so for our x i'm going to set that at twenty thousand. so it's going to be at twenty thousand on the x and yeah it's pretty large because it's a really cool game and a large level and the y axis is going to be 2000 this is the width basically of our level as you can see and the z axis is going to be only 10 because we don't need it you know it's only it's only going to be 10 that's it that's it so I am also going to put some, you know, grass on it. I'm going to flower or, or water the grass and it will grow. So simply going to go here into materials and over here we have something called M ground moss. There you go. You can simply drag and drop that. And by the way, let me resize this. You can simply drag and drop that and there you go. So over here inside of the starter content, you have the materials folder. Again, it's right there and you can put different things. You can put a brick. So maybe our ground is going to be a brick ground or maybe our ground is going to be like this whatever this is so yeah there you go you also have this over here another ground you have a glass so it will look like the player will fall down any second he doesn't know if it will break or not but I'm going to be satisfied with the ground moss and that's all there is to it I'm going to take this box brush and rename it to ground and I'm simply going to put this inside of the ground folder so now we also have walls that we need to create and I'm going to show you one trick and that is look at this over here so for example if we drag a drop drag a drop drag and drop a box from here you see it doesn't have any elements on it if I try to do this if I go here into the starter content and materials and let's say we want to add this brick clay on it and if I drag it you see it's only going to put it on one side and if I, you know, drag more over here, you see, it's, it's putting on only sides of this, this box brush. So how can we fix that? Well, one of the ways to fix it is to basically do the following. So let me just delete this. And we can select here a material that we want to apply to that box. Select it over here, for example, brick clay old. And then after it, we 
after we have selected it over here, we can drag it from this, you see, drag it from geometry, place it over here, and automatically it will have that material applied on all sides. That is one of the ways how we can fix this. Another way how we can fix it is if we drag and drop this over here, you see it doesn't have anything, any material applied, so I can click on one of the sides. When I click on one of the sides, you will notice over here inside of the details panel, we have this geometry. And over here we have the select. So again, here is the details panel, here is the geometry. So when you click on that, then from the drop down list, you can click this select all adjacent surfaces. So it will select all of these surfaces and then you can apply any material on one surface and it will be applied, you see, on all on all surfaces. So that's all there is to it. Let me just see over here what, I cannot remember which one of these. I believe this is the one that I have applied. Yep, this is the one, but it's not important. <laughs> Why am I stressing about that? So over here inside of the level, I'm going to right click and create a new sub folder. And this one is going to be our walls. who are going to circle the level. So I'm going to take this one and position it over here or put it out or as a child of that of that folder. And this one is going to be our first wall that I'm going to call our start wall. Now the start wall is going to have some settings changed. So over here, the location for the start wall is going to be minus 9,990. This is going to be the location of the start wall, which is basically over here. The Y position is going to be zero and the Z position is going to be 105 which is basically, as you can see over here, placed in the middle. Now I am also going to change these, you know, X, Y, and Z. So the X value is going to be 20 because this is a wall, as you can see, look at that, it's a wall. The Y value is going to be 2000 and the Z value is going to be 200. So I'm going to leave it as is and there you go. So this is going to be our start wall. Now for the end wall, what we can do by selecting the start wall, we can hold alt. So holding alt on your keyboard, which is options in or on Mac OS. Now I can drag from here, you see, and it will create a duplicate right away. It will create a duplicate like this. And instead of the start wall two, I'm simply going to call this bad boy end wall. So over here, I'm going to say end wall. And for the end wall, the position is going to be positive 9,990, which is going to simply put it over here. Everything else I'm not going to touch. We are going to leave it as is because I, I like it so. I, I like it, I enjoy it, okay? It's not a crime, it's not nothing, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But no, this is where we're going to leave it. So now what I'm going to do is again, duplicate the start wall by holding Alt and moving this bad boy over here. And I'm going to click here to rename it and I'm going to call this one right wall, there you go. And the right wall, I'm going to position it at negative nine for the X position. And the Y position is going to be 993 and the Z position is going to be 99, which is basically over there as you can see. So look at where it is. It's it's over there. But this time for the X scale or the brush settings for the shape, I'm going to set at 20,000. You see, it's now at 20,000, but of course it's not going to look like this. Instead for the Y, I am going to set it at 20 and 200, it is going to be on the, on the Z axis. So this is going to be our right wall, not allowing the player to pass by on the, on the right side. And now I'm simply going to hold alt again and move this bad boy over here, which is going to create, which is going to create another wall, a duplicate of the right one. And I'm going to click over here. And from there, I am going to just put this back, go back over here. Sorry for that typo, not the right wall, but this is going to be the left wall. So it is going to be left and there you go. And I'm just going to put him. So the X location is going to be minus nine for the left one. The Y location is going to be minus 993 and the Z location is going to be at 99. And there you go, there you go. 
So basically, this is going to be our level or the play field where our player can move and all of the good stuff. Now, before I wrap this up, I'm also going to put the obstacle walls over here because it's not complicated. And why should we wait to do that? So over here, other walls, I'm going to right click on the level, create a subfolder, and I am going to call this one obstacle walls there you go and for this one i am let me just select this brick clay old so click on that and drag one cube over here and there you go are they the same yeah they can be the same color or yep yeah i don't care so i'm going to take this one and put it over here and i'm going to call it obstacle wall one so what's going to happen with this obstacle wall or what is this going to be? Well, basically, these are going to be the walls that we position over here. One is going to be over here and over here and over here. So the player will need to go over here to pass by them like in a zigzag, you know, in a labyrinth or however this is pronounced. I don't know. Anyways, the position X is going to be negative 7224 on the X that is on the Y we are going to say 485 and on the Z I'm going to say 105 now of course I'm going to resize this bad boy so the size over here is going to be 140 for the X for the Y is going to be a thousand and for our Z that's that so there you go there you go now in order for us to create these what we simply need to do is the following holding alt i'm simply going to move this bad boy and then maybe over here like this and then over here and there you go so simply make him like at the edge of the screen and for these movement or for the units of the movement you can click on this over here you see set the position if i hover over it says set the position grid snap value you can set that to one and now you can, you see, move this a little bit easier. Well, basically you can move it easy as well if you don't set that, but it is not moving it by 10 units or 20 units or whatever, there you go. So the player will now have to go here, then here, then so on and so forth, you get the point. So I'm going to take both of these and holding Alt, I'm going to duplicate it and position it over here and there you go. So these are, these are the obstacle walls. Now, of course, we're going to place a little bit more of these. So we are going to have more of these. One are going to be here and over here. So basically two more times, but that is going to be your assignment. It's not a hard one, position them, but make it a little bit randomized in terms of in the next ones. So the next one that you position, this, for example, is going to be a little bit larger. So up to here, for example, and this one is going to be up to here or something like that. So that it is a little bit harder for the player to move and so on and so forth, which challenging for you know the player to pass by and all of the good stuff so this is basically it when it comes to this first part of this tutorial and if something was not clear make sure that you ask in the comment down below and i will you know ignore the comment not answer just kidding i will answer and i will try to help you out so finish up putting these obstacle walls don't wait you know in, in the next video i will have them set up and uh, yeah, pretty much that is that. And I will see you guys in the next video.